Work with me for less than 60 seconds. Try and figure this one out. This is a mathematical combination of thought. Now, we're going to bring it into layman terms. We've got a radiator on our car. We've got lights in the front. We've got nothing cooling our lights but the air when we go straight forward. If we don't move, our lights will burn the area space, creating, okay, the illusion of the difference, okay? The light pushes away that area, creating a different color spectrum in that area. And the one, when the car is moving, it's almost the same thing, but it's enclosed, so it becomes the same thing. It stays warm. Nothing to cool it. Now, the gasoline sparks and burns. The motor is going to get hot, so we need the radiator to cool this down. Now, what happens if all these elements were actually con condoned but in the open to an area electromagnetic magnetic space to where we need to cool down the energy. Therefore, we're looking at sun flares and understanding that we need the cold and then the hot and the cold and then the hot to cool down these energies, radioactive energies or whatever they are that are coming down from the sun. Therefore, while cooling and warming it, creating humidity in the air, calling it a humid day, but why is it a humid day? Because the lamp, okay, is running a little different. I don't know how it works. We need to cool it down. How do we cool it down? Are there more sun flares or differences when the moon is around than when it's not? But when the moon is pushed further away from the sun, causing its reflection. Imagine your back end of your door with a pack sack, and it's separating elasticity from the sun. And then as it goes on, it seems like, does the moon ever seem to disappear from the vision of the earth? And it gets full again, the earth, or it pushes off to the side. Water on the side, cooling on the side, wanting and spraying, wanting and spraying, cooling down the sun because it's too hot. Brings down the humidity because we need it on the earth, regulating the earth. Built, my friends. When God said he built the earth, okay, then he built the earth. Four, seven, six. One and six being the both ends. The separation is 2.5, meaning a 3.5, which is 1.25 more, okay, than 28 grams, equaling to one ounce, and where it takes eight ounces, okay, times 28 grams, eight times 28, equals to 224, okay, divide that by four or six, equals to 56 the sun, 224 divided by six, equals to 3733, Okay, every time you get a decimal point, a point, okay, that point is because of perfection. 1,000 is perfect. 10, 10, 10. 10,000 is perfect. But 10,000 of what? If you play in, in, in any league, you start off at zeros. The minute game one goes by, right, your percentage of winning over losing is now 1,000% because you never lost before. So anything after a loss is under a thousand. So if it's over a thousand, in fact, if it's over 1.0, 1.00, flip that thing around. You're on this side or that side. Losses, wins haven't begun yet. One in one area, it's a hundred. In one area, it's ten. You win one, but that's perfect. That becomes one hundred. One thousand is because it's ten times. One hundred thousand or ten thousand. It's because it's a hundred times. Krista Berg had the hundred times. So the water coming in from, from space, water, melting off and recollecting and freezing water. Where can we do that? Where can we build an ice patch? Where does it all begin? I don't know. The moon, G&E, General Electric moon, G&E 7 and 5, moon 57. How do we create 57? 313, 212. How do cre we create a 7? 1 times 3, 1 plus 3. How do we create a 5? 1 times 2, 1 plus 5. 5 times 7 is 35. 5 plus 7 equals to 12. 35 and 12, we started with 5 and 7. Now, since we started 5 and 7, right, which one will we take? The 5 or the 7 plus 35, right? Let's take 57 and 35, right? And we're going to end up with 8, 12. 6 times 2, 6 plus 2. Same 8, 6 times 2, 6 plus 2 means the other 8 created this. What if we had 4 times 4? Well, 4 times 4, 4 plus 4, equals 16 and 8, 24. 
Where is it? 16 and 8, 24. This one created this 8, okay? 2 times 6, 2 plus 6 creates 8 and 12. 4 times 4, 3 and 5, 2 and 6, 1 and 7. This one will create 8, 7, 15, Mars. This one will create 12 and 8. This one will be the purple sky connecting the heavens. This will be 15 and 8. This will be directly in pull, but this is the high side in pull. 1778, okay? What this is is this, okay? Excuse me, 1778, right? This 18 will turn into 78. This angel heaven, A-H, creating the R, resident angel, whether it's E or an A-R, the birth of the angel bringing on the electronics. So we go 4 by 4 equals equals 16, 8, 24. So the first 8 is 24. The second 8 is 3 times 5, 3 plus 5 equals to 23. The third 8 equals to 20. The fourth 8 equals to 15. So there's a difference of 5, 3, 1. A, C, E. 222 times 8 equals 1776. Then over here you have 0, 3, 4. D, C. How do you create 0? A and E. A and E is 15. 15th letter is 0. We've now created this. 1 times 3, 1 plus 3. 1 times 3, 1 plus 3. 1 times 2, 1 plus 2 equals to 5 and 7. 3, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2. Welcome to the seventh gate. 5, 2, 5, Earth. 5, 1, 5, Mars. Put them together. We create a 5, 12 memory. Why? Because it's 1, 3, and this is 0, 2. Because you don't need any other 2. We're going to show you what 2 is. 1 and 1 is 2. 2 and 0 is 2. 2 and 9 is 2. This surpasses the alphabet. But the secondary level of 2, okay, is 3 and 8, and then it's 4 and 7, and then it's 5 and 6. So now if we run these levels, okay, of 2, we get 2, then we get 1, 1, then we get 20, then we get 29, then we get uh, 38, right? But let's not do it this way. Let's do 2, 1 and 1, okay? That's 2, right? Let's do 2, okay, 10 and 10, that's 20, that's 2. Let's do 2 at 29, um, let's not do it that way. Let's go uh, 2 and 9, 3 and 8, 4 and 7, 5 and 6. You see the pyramid we create? We have to cross over. Since we have to cross over, these are your sides, right? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. There are six of them. There are five of them. There are four. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, 1. We're looking for this one over here. When we find this one over here, 4, 3, 2, 1, times 6 equals 25,000. Okay, 920 of the Mayan count. So where does this show up? We have to find where there's less than 6. Right, so we would have to show up at, um, we would have to show up at um, four nine. Then we'd have to show up at five eight, and then we'd have to show up at um, six seven. Right, four five six, uh, six seven five eight four nine. This would all equal to the four 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 world. Okay, so we're gonna continue with the two world over here, and this is here one times one one plus one equals three two three. 2 times 0, 2 plus 0, okay, equals 2, uh, 2, 2, 0, okay, which will end just, this is something different, because this will become 26, and this will fall into the 8 family, right, that's, that's what happens over here, so this one over here, 2 times 9, 2 plus 9, right, 2 times 9, 2 plus 9, equals 29, 3 times 8, 3 plus 8, equals to 24, 11, equals to 35, 35, 29, this is 2, okay, and this is 3, this is your creation of your communication. 5, 9, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 9 and 1. 3, 4, 5, 69. Creation of the two worlds. You want to create the next world, the three worlds, right? So we're going to start. We're going to start. 1 and 2 equals to 3. We're going to also have 0 and 3. Go up a scale. Then we're going to have 2, what? And 1 equals to the 3, right? This is your base. And after your base, you go like this. After this, you got to go everywhere else. After this, to create your 3, instead of having your 1, 2, 2, 1, uh, 3, 0, uh, 4, 9, uh, 5, 8, uh, 6, 7, that'll equal to, excuse me, um, 3, 0, 4, 8, 5, 7, and uh, 6, 6, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, right? 1 and 2 is 3, 1 and 2 is 3, 1 and 2 is 3. All of these will be regarded as 12s. So all these go into this house over here, so you end up with 12, 21.
right? So now that you got your 66, we don't want to go onto the other side, right? Reversal, 75, 48. This equals to the sun, this equals to the moon, the separation of the moon, creation of the cube in the house of father. So you have 6 times 6, 6 plus 6 is 48. 5 times 7, 5 plus 7 is 35. Cycle of the moon, right? Uh, 47, sorry, this is 47. You notice the first two are separation of 1. 4 times 8, 4 plus 8 is 44. 3 times 0, we get 3. 2 times 1, 2 plus 1, we get 5. Um, then we have 2 at the end, right? So when we add these all up like we did to the first one on the other page, we got, we got over here we got 95. Right away, that's the farm. Area space, cycle of the moon and the sun. 48, 95. 4 and 8 is 12. 1 and 2 is 3. Um, 8, 7, 15, 19, 20, 21, 22, 27, 28, 29, 2. Uh, 4, 8, 12, 13, 14. You have 149, the spirit in the gateway. I talk fast because they're just mathematically simple equations of matching numbers. You want to do it in the what house? In the six house? Okay. Six, we need zero, six. Then we need what? One and five to create six. Two and four to create six, right? Or 24 or 42. And these are how we create the six house. You want to create the seven house? One and five? One and six? Two and five? Three and four? Can we go all the way to 90? To create the six house? How do we get to 90? Okay, to 90 to create the six house. Well, how, here's how it goes. Six and nine equals to 15, right? How do we get to 80? Well, 80. How do we get to 80 to create the six house? Eight and seven creates a six house. You notice six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, 44 split, right? Six and eight communication of the nine lives of the birth. So now we got the nine and six. We have the 8 and 7, we have the 96 and 87 equals to 15, equals to 15. What's the first number to create the 6 house? 1 and 5. That's what it all comes back down to. You want to create the 4 house. How can you create the 4 house when you have 90? Well, you go 9 and 4. How about 8 and 5? How about 7 and 6? 13, 13, 13. 1 and 3 is 4. This house will represent 13. The letter M, A, C, D, McDonald's, Raphael, 7286, and a constellation of Pegasus. I should do this really slow and show it to you perfectly, how we get all the way up to 99 and create any house you want. 3 and 9 is 12, 1 and 2 is 3. So they're all going to come down to 9 and 9, unless you go with 3 houses, or 4 houses, or 5 houses. I mean, here's an equation. Here's an equation. We're in, we're, you want to talk about the 6 house? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Add them up, okay, equals to 36. Divide it by 36, and you're going to have 185. 185. Doesn't matter what number you do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Okay, adds up to 30. Divided by 30 equals 185, 185. Now, watch this. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 is 3 times 4 times 5 equals 15, 625. Um, uh, 15, 625 divided by 125 because it's 5 times 5 times 5 equals to 125. What it is, is you can never get more than three. Here's the center to here. Here's the center to here. That's your greatest diameter. That's what we're looking for. We're not looking for in between. We look in between, we get the halfway. The halfway is the diamond, right? Equals to number five. You want that one halfway that's equal to number two, the earth halfway. You now split it this way or this way. Okay. That is your three, two, one, four creation. One, two, three, four on the corners. When you split it this way, Right? When you split it this way, you now get the four creation and the one in the center. You split it this way, you now get the three creation and the two on the outside. One, four, three, two equals to nine, eleven. And that is your setup between the addition and the multiplication. Raphael, art design, mathematics, correlations, in sync. Thank you for watching.